Alright, um, let's position this little thing, delete the box. Perspective, rotate 90 degrees, and just kind of pop it about where it goes in the top viewport, which is somewhere over here. Go to the front viewport here. Um, press F3 to go into wireframe. Line it up with the top. Okay. Go back to the top here. And it is 8 inches from this wall. So, okay. 8 by, oops, let me show. Put that there. And then it's just drag this down, E, rotate 90 degrees, um, 32, no not 32, 14. Got this all written down in a text file on my other computer, so. Um, place it, and delete. In perspective. Now we have, um, walking mode here. Go down. We have our outlet. Or our, um, I don't even like calling outlet. Our switches. One vent there. And one vent there. And the way you get into this mode right here is just press any of the arrow keys. Hold down the left mouse button to rotate. And um, yeah, just the arrow keys move you around. To get out, just do your other normal moves, right click, whatever you want to do. Okay, now that we have those, let's go um, browse our pictures here. Alt-B, files, let's see what we got. Did that vent, did that vent, we could do the door, we do the bathtub, I think we're going to do the bathtub. Let me go find my little blueprint I drew out. Okay, bathtub. Mm. This is going to use some mesh smooth, some cool things, some not so cool things, but yeah. Let's see, 61 inches, 15 inches. Okay, so make a box width 61. Height um, 13.5. Width is, or length is 35. Okay, 35. There we go. If we're lucky, it should line up with some things here. If not, let's see, there is a 5 inch gap. Let's just make a little box here. That's pretty close. Half inch off, but you know, we'll just cut it down from here. So, make this 34.5. I'll shrink it a bit. Okay. Um, make sure you got it lined up on all sides here. Into perspective, check that it looks kind of kind of right, and it does. So go back into the top view here, convert to an editable poly. Next, let's just inset this to begin with. We'll inset it. Mm, 1.5 inches. Okay. Then we we will make a box and make. Oops, make the length 3 inches. Okay, align it to the top here. Select this edge. Wow, I'm having some serious viewport problems here. Okay, there we go. And that is how far it should be away from the wall. There's actually some uh, top
tile, which we'll make over here. Might require some scaling and other things, but okay. Now we got that good. Um, let's isolate the selection. Oh, Alt Q by the way is the isolation hotkey. Just for some um, reference there. So extrude down. Okay, right about there looks good. Okay, press OK. Select all these edges here. Okay, deselect that. Deselect that. Okay, and chamfer them. And also, I guess we can do these too. Um, okay, just like this, loop, give that a chamfer, just like this, um, and chamfer it a bit, and then select the remaining three sides and chamfer them very small. Okay, let's give this thing a mesh smooth and hope for the best. Oh, yuck. Okay, we got some serious problems. Where to begin? With the edges, we forgot the chamfer. So, let's look at this, this, and this. And let's just chamfer those. That is pretty horrendous. Let's redo those. Okay, we're just gonna champ all those edges again. And while we're at it, we'll um. Wow, my top. I don't remember it being that big. <laughs> oh well. Just give those a little bit smaller chamfer there. Select the, actually just select the bottom edge, loop, okay, polygon, control click, chamfer, give this a small, small chamfer. Now let's try mesh smooth. There we go, we're getting something closer. We're still missing some key things here. What is it? Start again. We screwed something up. I don't know where it was. 1.5. Top. Double this. Okay. Um, extrude in. Let's give it a mesh smooth here and see what it does. Okay, we get a bowl shape. Alright, I, I got an idea. It's like all the edges and half of Okay. That's kind of cool. Grow. somewhere now. So I figure if you pull these things it just kind of makes it do what you want it to do. There we go. And the last one, just grow and pull. Okay, we'll continue in the next lesson.